a lot of people have been exposed to biking for the first time or the first time in a long time through the Beltline. The Atlanta Beltline may have kickstands going up, but safety concerns have many cyclists hitting the brakes when it comes to venturing beyond the path. It's a very different experience from biking on a city street, um, and what we want to do is make it have that same feeling. The Atlanta Bicycle Coalition wants more protected lanes. Right now, there are just four miles. What we're really trying to move towards is having high quality bike facilities that give you physical separation from cars, so you're not in the same space, and then they also have some kind of a protective barrier. It's the kind of project you can see going in on John Portman Boulevard in downtown Atlanta. Getting around the city, mobility, as we grow, will be a greater and greater challenge. So we have to, we have to get people out of their cars that want to be out of their cars. The city's commissioner of planning and community development, Tim Keene, says the voter approved Renew Atlanta infrastructure bond is a shot in the arm for what are called complete streets. That's really my charge, is to help everyone get around the city, which means allow more people to cycle, walk, use transit, so that people that will drive all the time have less congested roads. Our cities are growing. People want to live in cities, and in order to live all together in that close urban environment, we need ways that we can get around outside of our cars. About $32 million from the bond will go to creating these complete streets and bikeways, and the hope is that it will be used to better connect the infrastructure already in place. We have some great pieces of the puzzle, but we don't have the full puzzle yet. The next piece the coalition is eyeing is an iconic connector. We're really excited about the potential to unlock streets like Peachtree, which is our signature street really throughout the spine of Atlanta.